Hi, my name is Pearl Natasha and I am from Derry currently, but I'm originally from Zimbabwe. I have been in Derry since I was 10 years old and 22 days. 16 years I've been living in Derry. I went to primary school there, I went to secondary school there, and I only left to go to university. I studied sports coaching at Leeds Metropolitan University and then I transferred from that course to peace studies and politics. Music is my love, it's my first love, it's definitely the dream I am making into reality with every single day. Um, but yeah, getting an education was obviously your, my first job. I first started singing and realising how much I loved music when I was really young, when I was in Zimbabwe. Um, at family parties, I'd always want to get up and sing. Noma Kanjani by Brenda Fassi was always the song I'd go to and you know, I'd see this amazing woman on TV and I wanted to be here. And then I realized, wait, I like the sound of my voice too. And so for the first, I'm gonna say 12 years of my life, that was enough, just singing. And then I started writing in school. We were really pushed to, you know, express ourselves and English literature was my favorite subject. And it went from writing poetry to singing the poetry, realizing all oh, these melodies work. And before I know it, I wanted music, it's all I wanted, it's what I was waking up for in the morning and it's been that way ever since. The words are definitely more important because it's the story. I think the music is a beautiful accompaniment because it takes you along the journey with it. But for me, personally when I write, I'm thinking about the words because it's the story I'm telling you. It sometimes seems a lot more abstract than it really is, but I think when you break it down into sentence structure and listen to the alliteration, you realize that words have power. Words can cause men to go to wars and wars can make men come back from wars. So for me, it's always the words. I focus on the meaning behind the words because writing songs and making music is my opportunity to tell my story it's my opportunity to let you into a little bit of my world and step into my shoes. And so when we're shooting videos for the songs, like today was shot, we were shooting for free. Um, I was really transporting myself back to the time when I wrote those words, because I'm hoping that you can then come on that journey with me too and you can see it from my eyes. I wrote Autumn Sky, actually that was the first song I ever recorded. And that one, sounds like a heartbreak song but it's actually a love song it's probably my ode to love it's my ode to the important people in my life and saying that if i lost it all today and i didn't get to say goodbye i'd want you to know that you're always the bright light at the end of the days if i can take you by can i tell you the story of an empty side baby It's a beautiful song, I really can't say much more about it than that. I have a full life band based with me in Derry and we rehearse four times a week. We basically live with each other and for me the live element is the fact that all my songs feature live music. Autumn Sky is a full live band recording, Free is a full live band recording, the upcoming album is all focused on full live bands. And I think that when you come and see me on stage, you need to get that full live band experience as well too. When I'm on stage and I'm having a live performance, I feel like I'm being seen. I grew up in a very big family. There were six kids in my family. And you know, sometimes it's easy to be number four or six. And when I'm on stage and I'm telling my story, I feel like that's my opportunity for each and every person to feel the way I'm feeling and to look into my life, even if it's just for three minutes. And I, I just, I'm being seen. For very few times in my life, I'm being seen as me. I'm being open and I'm being honest and I love it. 
Yes, I do. I've been working at this for, I'm going to say, six or seven years. I've done your open mics and your karaoke competitions. Look, if there was a singing competition going, I've probably done it. And now I'm finally in the position where I can write the album that tells my story. I can speak my truth and this album is going to be a success no matter what because it's my success. So it's not overnight, definitely not by a country mile, but it's in time for me. My mom always raised us with the whole philosophy of you only get one life and you only get one you. So you can compromise yourself left, right and center, but you're always going to then lose your own center. So. With my mom, you know, I was very open and honest with her. Like, I love music, this is all I want to do. And she's like, if you're going to do it, you better be good, you know? And I was like, okay, cool. What do I need to do to be good? And I, but I had to find my version of good. My advice uh, for anybody who was looking to pursue their passion, I'm not even going to just narrow it to music anything. If you're looking to push for that thing in your heart that makes you smile, I would say don't give up. And it sounds so simple and it is a cliche for a reason. There are so many distractions in the world. You know, you'll go to uni, you'll do great in your course and you'll think, oh well I can make a career out of this. Or you'll meet the perfect guy or the perfect woman and you'll think, well I'm happy and I'm settled. You'll buy your first house. Look, life is full of distractions. But if it's the one thing in the world that makes you get up in the morning, if it's the one thing you go to sleep at night thinking about, if it's the reason you get out of bed on your bad days, don't give up on it. The name of my album is going to be Experience and we're going to release it in 2018. I'm not going to say when in 2018 because I want it to be finished, I want it to be done and I want it to be perfect. But I am on social media under Pearl Natasha. So look for me there, follow me there and you'll know as soon as it's ready. Little girl